As you may have seen, I've acquired an additional 250k prop firm funding with E8 and honestly this couldn't have come at a better time. The last two quarters I've been hovering around break even and last month I had my 300k my Frox funds account taken away, I should say my frozen funds now, and I even had a 300k challenge taken away which was in phase two. In trading you have to go through many many trials to become a successful trader and only those that persist deserve to be rewarded. I could have given up at any point this year. There's always some obstacle, there's always some difficulty. You just got to keep moving forward. So I started this challenge on July 5th. This is actually the second challenge I've taken on E8 funding. The first one I failed because I ran out of time. This was still in the days when they were using uh, 60 day time limits. So phase one was 60 days and phase two was 120 days, which is ideal for me because I'm more of a swing trader. So I needed uh, longer challenges at the time. And I think midway through my phase two, they actually transitioned to an unlimited uh, trading period, which was perfect because I, I might have been coming quite close otherwise. I think I took around three and a half months to pass phase two. Um, and I would have had four months, right? 120 days. So it could have come a bit close. So let's take a look at the phase one challenge now. So you can see I actually passed this challenge very quickly. Phase one on E8, I think is 8% profit target. Um, and I was actually using 1.5% risk at the time on my phase one challenges just because of the time limit. So now I, now I do 1% risk per trade, but at the time I had so few setups, I had to make the few setups I took count. So I would do 1.5% risk just because I wanted a you know, I, I would always fail challenges because I run out of time. Um, thankfully, I don't really fail challenges anymore at all. Um, so you can see I then took the micro lots uh, to get the minimum trading days. Um, I even did it on Bitcoin and Ethereum to be able to get the micro lot, the minimum trading days over the weekend. Um, and I actually passed this in total in around 11 days. Um, so very quick turnaround. I'll show you the trade that passed this uh, quickly now. So you can see it's just a simple continuation. This is on EU. It made me 6.24%. Of course, with the 1.5% risk I was doing, it made me a little bit more than that. Uh, I reduced my risk here, reduced my risk here, locked in profit there, and then finally locked in profit up here, I believe. Um, so yeah, if you want to see me go over this trade in more detail, you can watch my trade recap series here. So we'll take a look at the phase two now. You can see this was a lot more of a bumpier ride. Um, I was risking 1% per trade at this time because 120 days was enough. Um, so I didn't need to do 1.5% risk. I wasn't in such a, so much of a rush then during the phase two, but they did later change to unlimited. So I guess that took some weight off of my shoulders because otherwise I'd probably have been getting a little bit worried towards the end here. You can see if we look at the account equity, uh, on August 3rd, I came really close to passing the challenge. Uh, you can see the high of my equity was 261,500 and the profit target was 262,500. So I was actually like half a percent, a little bit under, a little bit under half a percent away from passing. Um, so yeah, was, I, I, I remember that being quite frustrating. Um, and then I didn't actually pass it then for another two months or so. Um, if we come down here, you can see some more stats. It's a very simple dashboard, but I really like how it looks. You can see I didn't actually take a single trade on AJ for like three months, the whole of this account's trading period, which is really interesting. And the JPY pairs, I didn't get a single winner. Um, so that's really, really good to know. Uh, I guess it was it was EU and GU that actually, it was two uh, trades, and a, a, a buy, oh no, they were both short. It was a sell on EU and a sell on GU that actually passed me this challenge overall. And I think it was an AU trade that brought me uh, close around August 3rd. So yeah, that's really good to know. Um, you see here, my win rate is 19%. It's crazy I can pass challenges with this win rate. Normally it's around 40%, but at the moment um, it's been really slow. So yeah, I'll show you the trades that actually passed me this phase two challenge now. So here's the first trade I took. This was an EU short. It was a continuation coming from an ascending channel. And I took it alongside this trade on GU, which was around the same time. This was a GU flag, again, coming from an ascending channel, really nice price action. Um, if you want to see me go over these trades in more detail, you can watch my trade recaps. You know what? I'll show you guys the live account as well. So I've actually taken two or three trades. I think I'm risking 0.6% per trade because the max drawdown is 12%, I think. So I want to make sure I have room for at least uh, 15 to 20 losses. That's what 
keeps me comfortable. So I think I'm doing half percent risk or 0.6 percent risk per trade right now. Um, but the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I'm actually in a trade on NJ right now. And so I might actually end up getting a payout at the end of this month because it's looking really promising at the moment. You can see the high of the equity right now is 255,000, which would be a $5,000 payout if I were to have closed at the top there. But I'm leaving it running. Hopefully it keeps going. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated on that and I'll make a video if I do get a payout. Um, I'll let you guys know the payout process. So regarding the other challenges I've got ongoing right now, I've got 300k funded engineer at phase two and I've got two 200k smart prop trader challenges which are also at phase two. So I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Comment this emoji to show me that you made it to the end. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I really like to hear your thoughts. Thank you again so much for watching to the end and have a great week. Thank you.